Us alongside Kyle Berger, week two of the high school football season certainly was one of celebration in Pelham. Yes, two-time national championship head coach of Clemson, Dabo Sweeney, had his Pelham High School jersey retired tonight. No one will ever wear the number 81 for Pelham ever again. Dabo graduated from Pelham in 1988. He walked on at Alabama and was part of the 1992 national championship team. He worked on staff under head coach Gene Stallings before landing a job at Clemson. Of all of his ac accomplishments, he says this jersey retirement is one of the best. This is where it started for me. I'm not a guy that moved around all over the place. I, I grew up in Pelham. I grew up right here. I've, I've run every every tree and mountain and road that there is around here uh, so to have an honor like this this is really one of the one of the coolest things that I've ever experienced and look at Dabo on the sidelines of Pelham soaking it all in <laughs> taking pictures of the game he's a good dude Pelham. I like that guy yeah he is Pelham hosting Bibb County Panthers knocking on the door and Walker Lyles breaks it down from two yards out 10 nothing Pelham fighting Dabo's on top Bibb County responds in a big way. Yeah, that's right. Watch this play, Don. Quarterback Garrett McGarity buys his time, airs it out to Mikhail Moten, and somehow he comes down with this. With the pass interference to touchdown Bibb County, Bibb County gets the win on Dabo night, 19-17. to oh, You can't lose on Dabo they night. They just did. All right, Bessemer City, Spain Park. He's coming off big wins last week. Spain Park up 7-6, second quarter. Bessemer City running back Deontay Hall changing that. Tigers then went for two. Their quarterback, Richard Densmore, calling his own number two point conversion. 14 7 Bessemer City. Later on, watch this. Densmore going to work again, this time through the air. You got to check out the effort by Jamichael Rogers. The senior will not go down. I mean, he really won't go down. Dragging two Spain Park defenders into the end zone. Tigers move to 2 0 on the season with a 42 35 win. Briarwood entering the Matthew Forrester era with its first coaching change in 30 years. Lions taking on Chelsea. Forrester taking over for Fred Yancey. First quarter, Chelsea knocking on the door of the running back. Ryan Blair blasting into the line, burring his way down to the one yard line. The Hornets then run the hurry up offense, pounded in to take a 7 0 lead. Briarwood had some issues early on. Yeah, I'd say so. Bad snap. Jonah Carroll trying to corral that loose ball. Chelsea would eventually fall on it in the end zone for the touchdown. And the Hornets go on the road and knock off the Lions tonight. 17-14, your final score. Pinson Valley looks to rebound from last week's loss. The trip to Lawson Field against the Class 5A Ramsey Rams. Rams, Jeffrey Rouser shot out of a cannon. Barrels in for the short touchdown run. Ramsey's Ram, look at this, he's... Thoroughly enjoying <laughs> that touchdown. Really I love that guy. You might need some Red Bull or something. <laughs> Pinson Valley's Caleb Nix hands off the Jatorian Charf. <laughs> Give him six points. Pinson Valley gets the win 27 to 7. Let's go back to Birmingham. 6A Huffman hosting 5A Parker. The Thundering Herd at the goal line. Quarterback Cambry Johnson pushes it in for a touchdown. It doesn't get any easier than that. Huffman comes right back. The handoff to Makai Hughes and he is going the distance, a 50-plus yards on that touchdown run as the Huffman Vikings get the win, 34-26. to 26. All right, as we mentioned at the top here, the uh, opening of the college football season for Bama and Auburn tomorrow. I know you are going to Atlanta to cover the Tide, taking on Duke. They've been banged up in the injury department, but I think with Tua on board, they should be okay. You know, there wasn't much to talk about initially with the Duke matchup, but then all this stuff happened within the last week. Right. Uh, supposedly, we have some suspensions. We have the Dylan Moses injury. Bama's still going to take care of business, but down the road, this may catch up to him. And then right after that, the Bo Nix show. That I is a know. big game. We will see. He played on Friday nights not too long ago. Now he's playing against Oregon. Thanks for watching WVTM 13 News at 10. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon coming up next. WVTM 13 News continues at 5 a.m. You can catch our news around the clock on the mobile app. Have a great night.